Hello everyone, I am Kamin Krishna Prasad from Informatica GCS. Today, we are going to see about how to configure the IACS scanner in CDGC. The agenda for the today's session is what is an IACS scanner and the purpose of using it in CDGC. What are all the prerequisites needed to configure the IACS scanner in CDGC. And finally, the steps to configure the IACS scanner along with the live demonstration. Informatica Intelligent Cloud Service Scanner is also known as Cloud Data Integration Scanner is used to extract the mapping which is created in the CDA application and help us to understand the data flow in a graphical representation. Below mentioned objects will be extracted as part of metadata extraction. The objects are projects, folders, business entities, business entity fields, calculations, mappings, tasks which includes mapping task, power center task and data synchronization task. In the upcoming demo, we are going to see how to configure a simple mapping task in CDA and extract them in CDGC. Next, we will see what are all the prerequisites needed to configure the ISCS scanner in CDGC. The mapping task should be created in the same directory and the mapping should be associated with the mapping task. Mapping is nothing but a data transformation logic that we defined in the CDA application. And we should make sure that the mapping task should be executed at least once in 6 months. To access a CDA assert, the user should have the read permission along with the IACS REST API license must be enabled for the org. Below is the sample screenshot of the mapping and mapping task created inside a folder. Also, we can find the IACS REST API license enabled or not for the org under the license tab in the administrator. Now let's see how to configure the IACS scanner in CDGC with live demonstration. Before we start to create the IACS scanner in MCC, let's see what the mapping and mapping task look like in CDA application. So here I have configured a simple ETL logic where I am transferring the data inside the table called employee information from the Oracle database to the table called employee info of MS SQL database. So basically here I am transferring all the data from an Oracle table to the MS SQL table. This is the mapping I have created to transform the data. In the source, I have selected the Oracle connection which is created in the administrator. Followed by that, I have selected the object and employee information table as a source object. Once the source object is selected, the fields which is available inside the source objects will be automatically listed over here. Similarly, for the target, I have selected the MS SQL connections and on the target object, I have selected the table where the data needs to be populated which is employee underscore info. Once the target object is selected, we can able to see all the fields which is present inside the target object. Once the source and target objects are selected, next we need to perform the field mapping. So field mapping can be performed using two ways. One is manual and another one is automatic. Automatic works based on the field name. So here I have selected the field map. Field map option is automatic and the fields are mapped through the based on field names. So once the configurations are done, we can save the mapping and validate them. You can click on this validation button to validate the mapping. Once the mapping is validated, we have to create a mapping task and associate the mapping to this task. I have already created a mapping task and associated the mapping to this task. Once, the, once it is associated, we have to run the mapping task. By executing the mapping task only, the data will be populated to the target asset. So now the mapping and mapping task is created and let's create the IACS scanner in MCC to extract them. For that navigate to metadata command center, new, catalog source, here search for Informatica Intelligent Cloud Service, create. So for this catalog source, you no need to create any connections in administrator. During the scanner configuration itself, we can provide the source information. So here enter the catalog source name. Followed by that enter the in the IACS URL field. We have to enter the Informatica Cloud Data Integration URL. It should be in the below format. If not, it will result in the job failure saying that invalid credentials. And in the IACS username and password field, enter the username and password to connect the Informatica CD application. Once the connection information is entered, then navigate to the next page. Here, select any runtime environment that is available in Informatica Intelligent Cloud Service to extract the metadata. If 
If we have used any complex transformation logic in CDA mapping and the objects are parameters, then we can place the parameter file located path in the secure engine machine. Since I have used a simple transformation logic and those are not parameters too, so I am not providing any value here. Now click on next. Here we can see the filter tab where we can apply filter to include or exclude metadata from projects, folders or mapping tasks from the CDA source system. Since the mapping and mapping task is created inside the folder called IACS demo, I am providing the filters in the following pattern. Include metadata, all types. Since IACS demo is resides under the project called KAVM, so KAVM slash IACS underscore demo followed by this mapping task name. Once we configured all the values, then click on save. Once the catalog source is saved, then click on run to extract the metadata. This extraction process will take some time depending on the number of objects configured in the filter tab. So now the job is completed successfully. Here we can able to see the list of objects got extracted as part of metadata extraction. Let's navigate to the DGC UI. Here search for the catalog source name. Here we can able to see the list of objects got extracted in the DGC UI. Let's navigate into the mapping task. Inside the mapping task, you can find the mapping task instance, which is nothing but which will contain the data flow diagram. Let me navigate into the mapping task instance. Once if it is loaded, click on lineage tab to see the data flow diagram. So here we can able to see the data flow from source to the target via mapping task. So if we want to see the data flow in the respective catalog sources, we need to extract the metadata of the respective schema. I have already extracted the metadata of Oracle and MS SQL database. So this is the employee underscore information table belongs to Oracle database and this is the employee underscore info belongs to the MS SQL database. So to populate the same data flow diagram into the respective catalog sources, we need to perform the connection assignment task. To perform connection assignment task, navigate to metadata command center, monitor connection assignment. Here, search for the IACS. So, we can see the connections created for the source and target. The connections will be created only after the IACS scanner jobs are completed. We need to assign the connection to the schema of the actual catalog source. For that, click on source connection assign here it will list all the schema that exists in the cdgc in the filters tab click on add filter select name and enter the schema name click on enter here we are assigning the connection for oracle so select the endpoint schema of oracle click on assign so this will trigger a connection assignment job Similarly, we'll do the same for MS SQL catalog source. Now here we can see the connection assignment job is triggered for both connections. This will take some time to get complete. Now the connection assignment job is completed successfully. Let's go to the data governance and catalog UI. Refresh the lineage tab. So here we can let me expand all the hops. So here we can able to see, see the same data flow diagram for the respective catalog source where the data is coming from employee information to the employee info through the mapping task. 
So this is how we can configure the ISA scanner in CDGC and perform a connection assignment task to visualize the data flow in DGC UI. You can refer to the following article for more information. We would like to hear from you. You can give your feedbacks or concerns through the link which is displayed on the screen. Thank you. Have a nice day.